Play of the Night, sponsored by Western Illinois University. Our Play of the Night from Week 9 comes from Spartan Stadium. Caden McDermott giving his team the lead, doing so with authority. Trucking a guy, dragging him into the end zone. That's a touchdown at Pleasant Valley, unbeaten 9-0 on the season. Hey, let's go to a good one in the Lincoln Trail. We'll get right back to the action as it's Mercer County and Anawant going head-to-head -head on the south side of Kiwani. Colby Cox sells the nice fake, then dashes 15 yards into the end zone. Golden Eagles up 8-0 early. Second quarter, fourth and nine, Mirko delivers. Cox to Owen Relander, 31 yards for the touchdown. It was 14. Nothing Later in the quarter, it's Cox again calling his own number, bolting in from 10 yards out. 22 to nothing. Mercer County cruising. We'll show you a final score. They win the LTC championship. 43 to nothing. To the winners go the post-game reaction. This, the wins like this feel good, and the guys came out and executed very well on both sides of the ball. Uh, did what they had to do. We had a job coming in, and it was one of our goals at the beginning of the season. And we've talked about that all week, and they really executed well tonight. I'm proud of them. Oh, we knew our goal was to, you know, beat these guys so we get a conference championship or at least tie for it. So we knew we had to play well, and we just put all our pieces together. And we weren't, you know, we played a really good, you know, first half, and that carried, like kept us on top of them for the second half. It was special tonight. Um, I think our guys up front really helped us uh, open up holes and uh, our defense was strong. We, let, we didn't let them score tonight, and it feels good. All right, let's get back to the action. Knoxville hosting Rova Williams Field on senior night. Ten minutes left first quarter. It's Bo Honeycutt handing off to Jackson Johnson. Powers through the defense. It's first touchdown of the game, and it's a 7-0 lead. Knoxville, Rova Williams Field gets the ball. It's Ryan Danner to Jackson Sharp. That was a Cougars first down coming right at you. Very next play for the Cougars. They look to go to the air. It is picked off by Braden Downs by Knoxville. Let's check the final score on this one. Knoxville with a big 55-20 win. Hey, Stark County needed a victory tonight at home against wow. Princeville to make the postseason and looking good here as their quarterback keeps it and gets into the end zone for the touchdown. I'm stalling while I get his name. That's Luke Rewerts. That gave Stark County the lead. We'll show you a final score in this one as this one all Stark County 49 12. The Rebels into the postseason. To the three rivers, Erie Prophets, Town, and Morrison both needing victory number five to guarantee a spot in the postseason. Morrison up 13 6 at the half. Back of the red zone in the third quarter. Carson Stratting adding to the lead. Mustangs up 19-6. Next drive, wild play here. Erie Poppinstown running back at Chase Grunder with an unbelievable run. Gets down to the two-yard line, but look at the hustle from Brady Anderson. He punches the ball out, the fumble, and the touchback. Next drive, Morrison driving once again, and check out this catch. Danny Mao finds Deshaun McQueen, who bobbles it. Keeps his concentration, picks up the first down. Later on, same connection. McQueen with the touchdown. Morrison wins this one, 25 to 14. Rockridge looking for their eighth straight win, hosting rival Orion. The Chargers in need of a victory tonight. First quarter, Connor Dean with the short pass to Peyton Locke, and he does the rest. 52 yards to the house. Rockets strike first, seven nothing. Then after an interception, Rockridge will get the ball back. Deem again this time. It's through the air, lands perfectly in the hands of Cameron Bonsax. 14-0 Rock Ridge. Let's check out a final on this one. The Rockets rolling 49-18 over Orion. All right, Princeton looking to cap off perfection. They're, host, they're at Monmouth Roseville. Opening drive, Princeton, 17-yard touchdown run by C.J. Hickey. And he's into the end zone, and it's quickly 7-0 Tigers. Next possession, it's a fumbled snap. Recovered by Princeton's Bennett Williams. Guess he'll pounce on that pig skin to put the Tigers offense back on the field. And then they cash it in. It's Augie Christensen. 14 0 at that point. Princeton will roll. They go 9 0. Will more than likely get the top seed in the playoffs 48 0 in the final. He won. He's celebrating senior night hosting Newman. The Comets looking good early on. Aiden Batten with the 54 yard touchdown reception. Newman with an early 7-0 lead. 
Well, later on, Boilermaker is looking to answer back. Alex Duarte with the 15-yard pickup right here. This good for a first down. Not a lot of offense in this one. We'll show you a final score. Kiwani with a late field goal upsets Newman 10 to 7. Number two ranked Amboy welcoming West Central, who's number one in eight-man football. After an onside kick fail, West Central marched right down the field. Three minutes, 30 seconds, QB sneak by Mason Kynes. It's touchdown, eight to nothing. Nine play, a few plays later, it's Landon Utah, Utah? You tell me, I'm probably getting it wrong. 35-yard touchdown. 8-6, no two-point conversion on that one. It will be West Central getting the win, 68-30. to 30. We have reached halftime here on the score. We have some Purpose flames going, good. of course. Matthew Bailey in the house, the line eye safety, former, former Moline Maroon. We'll have much more with him and some more football action coming up on the score. I'm Super Bowl champion Jake Gervas, and whenever I'm back in the Quad Cities, I check out the score with Matt and Corey on WQAD.